I just thought I'd film another video here. We've got the Case 495 out today. We call this tractor the Little Sister Tractor because it's one of our lower horsepower tractors and uh, it does a great job on the farm. We use it for small jobs, but also big jobs like moving hay equipment, as you've seen in some of my other videos. Um, but today, I'm gonna to be using the brush hog on the back of this. I believe it's a five foot wide brush hog. And it has a, a decent profile, as you can see on the back of the tractor. So what we do with the brush hog is, we've got loads and loads of trails in the woods here. And when you cut down trees, because we heat our house with firewood, it allows more sunlight to penetrate the bottom of the forest ground and that allows for more growth with vegetation. And these trails are pretty active trails on our farm. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through some of these trails, clear out some lots, drive around, make the trails more drivable or more walkable. When doing this, we need to make sure that there's no rocks, so I'm not going to be going very fast. I'm just going to creep along. I have a general idea as to where the rocks are, but hopefully we don't hit any. I don't think we will. Most implements will have a three-point connection. So you have point A, point B, point C on the far side. And those make up the three points. So that allows it to pivot on the back, and then this stabilizes it on the front. And then with our hydraulics, the hydraulics move these arms here and these arms lift the implements up and down so this allows for adequate ground clearance when i'm moving and i don't want to hit anything and so with the brush hog there's a uh, a pto a power takeoff shaft so it connects to the back of the tractor here and it goes along and it spins this gearbox and in this gearbox there's gears that are geared to these large flail mowers. So as you can see here, those are some very large blades. And with the momentum of those, it doesn't cleanly break, but it kind of bashes the stalk of the grass or whatever we're gonna be hitting and it cuts it off. So that is my little rundown and I'll film myself cutting some trails. So hopefully you guys can see some nice footage and see some of the trails we have on the farm. We call this the lone elm tree because there is a Dutch elm disease that rolled through and there's a large hill on that side and we think that the disease couldn't actually adhere to the tree due to the velocity of the wind cresting that hill. So it's a pretty cool sight. Going into the first trailhead here, our second cut is coming up fairly nice. We haven't got a lot of rain since uh, first cut but maybe 16 mils from where we are but it's uh it's kind of buggy back here but i've got some nice clothes on that'll stop them from getting my skin so here's the first trail the start of it as you can see it is very tall at grass so we're gonna hook up the brush mower so we'll turn on the pto and you can see that spinning and it won't cut at low RPM, so I'm gonna rev the engine to increase the PTO speed. So here we are, here we go.
Alrighty, so main light work of that. And we're gonna continue to move on. But that was pretty substantial. Like this is up to my shoulders, I'd say. And it's not a completely clean cut. However, that's not what this thing's for. This is just to thrash through stuff in a nice manner and make it relatively good. And it's doing great. I'm always impressed with this thing. And I'm glad they make them. Alrighty, so I just finished the last clearing that we like to do. This is more of a kind of campsite area on the farm that we'll bring a trailer back to or pitch a tent. This is actually the start of a trailhead too where there's a bunch of trails. And uh, this is our black walnut plantation. So not my kids, but maybe their generation can harvest these and that would be very exciting. Here's one of our hay fields. And then on the far side, on that drumlin, is some soybeans. 